Hey guys, here's the, uh, the workout of the week, if you will, the supplementary exercise I'm doing. Uh, I do this twice a day. I'm going to, I kind of switch this up, this routine up um, every month or so, my, my stretching routine, just things I want to hit. But I do this twice a day, uh, right when I wake up in the morning and then right after my workout, kind of, you, you worked out pretty hard, just kind of get everything stretched out and, and feeling better and not getting all tightened up. So I'm just going to walk you through this in real time, all pretty basic moves. Uh, I do have a PVC pipe, if you can get a PVC pipe from Home Depot or somewhere that's like 25 cents. Um, if not, you can use a broom or you can just skip any part that has the PVC pipe. But uh, first thing you're going to do is uh, just sit in a squat. So I like, just sit down, and, like, especially in the morning, hips are going to be really tight. You guys know we do this at classes. Uh, you can kind of rest your elbows on your knees and slowly start to just loosen that butt up and down. And, slowly start to peel that chest back so all that weight's on the heels and you're nice and upright. Think about tucking your shoulder blades back and only squat as deep as you can so you might be up here and slowly start to work that down. But just sit in this squatting position for anywhere from 30 seconds to two minutes. Um, if it gets to be too much, just come out of it. Just come out of it. Um, but after the 30 seconds, you're just going to do five to ten squats. So every, every exercise here, every stretch is going to be five to ten depending on how you feel. So then just ten nice and easy. Drive that butt back, keep that chest up. Uh, I'll just do five of everything for right here, but five nice and easy squats, driving that butt back, keeping that chest up. If you start to lean forward and come on your toes, so it's too deep for you, just squat as far as you can go and hold it there. So then the next one is gonna be a hip flexor stretch. So get down on one knee and on one knee. You know, if you're really unstable, you can even hold on to something to kind of brace yourself, but just from one knee, you're just driving the hip forward and pulling the chest back. So pushing the hip forward, pulling the chest back. And from the side, you'll notice that I'm not really, I'm not leaning into it. I'm kind of just pushing my hip, but also pulling back. And as you do that, you're going to feel it stretching the front side of that down leg. So just kind of drive forward and hold for three to five seconds. Feel that good stretch and then kind of come out of it. And then drive it back. And then after you do five to ten with one leg, switch five to ten with the other leg. Again, if it's early in the morning, everything's going to be really tight. So be cautious with it, be slow. But start to really stretch it all up. After you do five to ten on each leg, you're gonna do leg drops. So you're lying on your back. You're gonna straighten both legs. You're gonna put one foot up in the air. Try to keep your shoulders on the ground as much as you can. Then you're just dropping the leg over. Just let that leg kind of hang down, stretch your back out. Only go as low as you can. If you're really immobile right now, like I'm I'm pretty immobile too, but just let it go where it is. Try not to let your shoulder come off the where you're just leaning over. Keep those shoulders tight, feel that stretch. Hold that again for about three to five seconds. Come down, switch legs. Put the other one up, drop that down. Let that pull and stretch for three to five seconds. Up and then back down and do it again. So back and forth, five to ten, again, five to ten times with each leg. Uh, then stand up and you're gonna do five to ten lunges with each leg. So just Step forward, drop that back knee towards the ground, drive up through your lead heel. If you have to brace yourself again, brace yourself. Step forward, drop that back knee towards the ground and drive up. You're lunging. Try to keep that chest up and push up through your lead heel. Not try to roll way up on your toe like that. So everything is nice and stable. And again, brace yourself and only go as low as you can. Kind of pushing your hip as you're going down on that lunge too. Five to ten with each leg. Uh, now you're going to grab the PVC pipe and you're going to do some hinges. So just uh, we do this a recovery class a lot. Just gonna hold the PVC pipe, kind of poke your chest out, stiffen those legs out. You can have a slight bend in the knees, but uh, you're gonna keep them wherever you're at. But try to keep them nice and straight. And all you're doing is pushing that hip back and just pushing this pull down your thigh, keeping your chest up. You're gonna wanna like round your shoulders and do a big bend, but try to just keep your chest up and push that butt back. So it's in the side. I'm just driving the butt back, keeping my shoulders pinned up. You'll feel it stretching down your hamstring. So. Get down to where it's tight on you, hold that for five, uh, three to five seconds, five to ten times. Then you're gonna do some call shoulder dislocation. So grab this pipe out as wide as you as wide as you can. You're just gonna go all the way around your head with straight arms and back behind your back, and then come back in. Then you're gonna slowly creep your hands in further and further, a little bit at a time, until you reach a point where you can't keep straight arms and go behind your back. So you get to a point you have to bend your elbow or do this. And that's too far, go right back out to that last position and just going back and forth. When you're above your head, you'll really feel it start to stretch your shoulders. 
I want to feel slightly uncomfortable at first, and that's why, again, start out as wide as you have to. As wide as you have to, be very, very cautious, and slowly work your way back in. After you do five to ten of those, you're going to do almost the same thing, but you're going to go around the world or circle. So you're going to go around one side, then continue that same motion. So you're going to wrap. Both arms are still staying straight. Both arms are still staying straight. Go five times in one direction, and then go five times in the other direction. That'll really get your shoulders warmed up, get them all loosened up. Uh, then, just forgetting what we're doing. Uh, then just a couple more. You get back on the ground, and do a couple of dead bugs. So from on your back, both feet straight up in the air, opposite leg, opposite arm go down, go nice and slow, let the legs drop nice and slow, five to ten with each uh, with each leg and arm. If you have to kind of, if you have to just kind of barely move, that's okay. And you can just bend your knees and your elbows and just kind of bicycle those in. But really feel that stretch and that pull. And then lastly, do some cat camels. So you are just going to, from an all four position, kind of arch your back up. So I think there's like a string in the middle of your back, pulling it up to the ceiling, and just push, push, and arch, 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 feel that nice good stretch. Then you go in the opposite way. So as you go up, your head kind of points down, and your, your back rounds up. Then you're pushing your belly down and looking up, pushing your belly down, keeping your arms straight, a big arch in your back, driving that belly down and looking up. Three to five seconds in each direction, five to ten times. Really feel that pull. Times, really feel that pull. And that's it. So it's not going to take you long. And uh, when you wake up, you're going to feel great when you're done. If it's one of those things like stretching always is, I don't have time for it, I don't have time for mobility. Um, I can put that on the back burner. I understand that. But um, when you wake up and after you work out, just doing that, taking five to ten minutes. Uh, to just get those in very quickly, you'll, you'll feel exponentially better. So, uh, doesn't not, not a huge finisher, not a huge, you know, crazy sweating and all these things as the supplementary exercise, but something that is very, very useful. So, try it out this week and let me know how you feel.